Heh. <laughs> Bet. Why don't I have one of those on the outside of my area? I don't like that she didn't bong the radio. Have a good time. Damn it, Delilah. Some flowers to make it not so horrific. The generator's off. If we go up there and she's like hung or something, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Wow. Oh, God, it's a nightmare out there. Oh, they made her stairs. Delilah. She leave a note. I swear to God, she like left a note or some shit. Like, sorry, I just couldn't meet you. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> what are you reading? Definitely want to check every aspect of this. Some ugly slippers. Got some decent food that's been brought to her. I gotta go grab my food out of a damn box. Stove to start fires with, of course. I'm checking the desk glass on purpose, by the way. Because I figured that's where the important shit will be. There's our crossword puzzles. I didn't use that. Like, I'm just imagining when he examines stuff, he's like just shoving it like a half an inch from his face. I really like her crosswords. Crosswords. There's the empty tequila. He really does have a serious eating problem. Ooh, peanut butter and apple. Good choice. I also was kind of wondering, they never talked about Brian's mother. Like, is there a chance that's her? Probably not. I feel like that's a bit of a stretch. Or maybe it didn't. No, I don't think so. We'll hold on to this. Can't do anything with that. Oh, here we go. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. Ah, there's the... You're not here. No. Don't be mad. Uh, I am mad. I am. Well, I couldn't be out there another minute. Not another minute? Come Give on. Give me a break. Henry, how did you feel when you left Boulder to come out here? Like I couldn't get here fast enough. Exactly. That's how I felt for the past 24 hours. <sighs> Well, I'm still mad. But you understand. No. Not really. It was just a few minutes. I'm sorry. Very selfish. Right. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, uh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. There's something there, but I can't see it because of that bug. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe... You make a good shrink. Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. 
Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. She won't even recognize me, Delilah. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I hope so. <sighs> God, this got dark. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, there's the helicopter. Good. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I'll, uh, I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, sure thing. Bye, Henry. All right, yeah, I immediately regretted picking that. Because I was like, well, I don't want to lose contact with her completely. Like, regardless of what else happens. Like, obviously we... We, like, got along really well. So even, like, on a friendship level, like, I wouldn't want to lose track with her completely. Hold on. <laughs> this, and they're like, nah, fuck it, he's not here, let's go. I'm still annoyed she left. I mean, I know they did it so that we wouldn't see her. And, like, because, you know, it's trying to keep the mystery there about you don't know what she looks like, all that, blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to see that. The chair, but, uh... So I knew we weren't actually ever going to see her face, but I can't run, by the way. But yeah, I, I did want to, like, end things, but I was like, I don't know where the Santa Fe thing came from. I'm sure she referenced it at some point. But yeah, I immediately regretted picking that. I was like, no, that's not the thing right. Oh my god, look, person. Fuck it, I'm out of here. Okay, let's go. Throws me into the blades. Son of a bitch. He was the one. Hmm. All right. Well, that was fire wash. Ooh. All right. So normally I talk about what I thought of the game, etc. During the credits. Overall, I really liked it. I, I liked it a lot. Um, I definitely see why this gets uh, a lot of people talking about it. A lot of positive stuff. Is it going to show the photos I took? Oh, yes, I think it is. But, um, yeah, I really liked it. Uh, it definitely went in the direction I wasn't expecting with the whole, like, people listening in and all that kind of stuff. Like, I was definitely not expecting that angle and the mystery of who's going in and the conspiracy and all of that shit. I mean, I didn't quite know what to expect, but uh, it was, wasn't that. Uh, but it, it worked out really well, and it's, and like I say, it's still, there's still some mysteries there. Like, again, how did we get that pack? Like, right? And I feel like the tent thing, I don't think he tore the tent up. What's his face did? I think that really was probably an animal. Or maybe he tore the tent up when he stole the stuff to make it not obvious he stole it. Like, a you know, the bear, like, strewn it into the woods or some shit and they didn't want to bother looking for it or whatever. So maybe he did have to cover his tracks. I don't know. But uh, anyway... But yeah, I really liked it. The story was interesting. I really liked the voice acting and the... the the interaction between Henry and Delilah, like it went out really well. And again, you could see like how that relationship would have developed. And you know, even despite you know his wife and everything, you know, people are people. People are human. You're still, especially in a situation like that, I can absolutely see them. Oh, that's when we first got the camera. That's funny. Um, I could absolutely see that scenario. Like happening again, not to say that you know either one of them are bad people, that you know, per se. Oh, this is pictures that Brian took, that's pretty funny. Oh, and there's his uh, dad, but um, but yeah, like it, it definitely was very, very cool story. 
I like, like I said, I really like the characters. Like the the banter back and forth between the two was really good. And like you kind of do want to see them together, and it's it's really a bizarre place to be morally, right? Because his wife is still alive, and you know from the she's really far gone with the dementia, but they're still married though, right? So they still, you know, you still have that. I don't want to say contractual obligation. But, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. And there's a moral obligation there as well. Uh, like, you know, if you flip it around, would you want her to abandon you to some guy she found if you're the one who had dementia, right? So, it's it definitely puts a very interesting uh, moral conundrum there. Because at some point, it's like, you know, she doesn't even remember you. And she's still alive, but she doesn't... Like, mentally, she's... You're not there. Like, you know, one day to the other, she doesn't remember who you are or whatever. Uh, and I don't know, like I said, it, it really raises some very interesting moral questions uh, about all that. And which I, I found very interesting to, to kind of think about and kind of see play out between these two. But yeah, I definitely liked it overall. Like, yes, was it a walking simulator? Pretty much, yeah. But that's not necessarily a derogatory negative thing in this case. Uh, I think it was uh, a good walking simulator. But, uh, yeah, I definitely liked it. Uh, I mean, I definitely one of those games, too, that once you play it yourself, or if you've watched it played, you don't really get a lot out of it playing it yourself, which I know there was a big controversy and stuff about that with this game in particular, I think, where people were just watching people play it but not buying it. But, um, I mean, I would still say, you know, pick it up, check it out for yourself. Uh, if nothing else, I, I would actually personally like to go back through... Excuse me. And do the, um, was it play the game with commentary? Yeah, I'd actually kind of like to blow through it again with the commentary and just kind of hear about that. Because that sounded pretty, I like to hear their thoughts on that. Especially, again, the map design, I think was probably fairly, uh, fairly interesting. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling now. Yeah, definitely overall great game. Uh, as far as a rating, I would give this like a seven and a half, eight-ish. It's really hard to rate something like this, in my opinion, because it's so focused almost entirely on the story and there's no real uh, gameplay elements but it did a really good job of keeping you focused on the story and like you're not getting lost which again is amazing for me because I get lost even when the game tells you where to go sometimes uh, and even in between those long walks back and forth there's dialogue uh, and they did a good job of not cutting off the dialogue which is happens in a lot of games right where you're having a conversation you pass that invisible point and all of a sudden the new dialogue kicks in that very rarely happened in this game like i can think of one time that i remember that actually happening uh, the other times it would finish the dialogue it was on and then kick to whatever option you picked or or whatever so and that's very important in a game like this so it's good that they nailed that but yeah i liked it i liked it a lot it was really good Really enjoyed it. Like I said, I kind of had a special place for me just because, you know, I really like Wyoming. Uh, I like this, the solitude of this position, uh, this job that this guy had. Uh, and I could I could see how these relationships and types of stuff develop and like the mindset of being out there by yourself, sort of, uh, for weeks at a time. But yeah, it is really good. Very much enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Make sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. In particular, if somebody knows for sure if there was like a third person who dropped that, uh, or, or another person who dropped that backpack off, or if I'm just misremembering, let me know in the comments. Because I really feel like that's something that was not addressed, was that who left that backpack there. It was obviously put there on purpose. So I'm very curious uh, about that. Unless the keys were on the backpack and he didn't realize it, I don't think that's the case. But anyway, enough from me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.